welcome or welcome back. This video is on Wii emulation on the Steam Deck. Make sure you are docked or at least have 90% charge on your Steam Deck before continuing. Head over to desktop mode. I'll be using a mouse and keyboard for ease of use. You must have EmuDeck set up prior to this tutorial. If you don't, please see the link in the description on how to install EmuDeck. First, verify you've installed Dolphin. Click on Feature Discovered, Installed, and look for Dolphin. If it's there, please skip the next chapter. If it's not there, please continue with the next chapter. Double click on the EmuDeck icon on the desktop. Wait while it checks for updates. Make sure your custom update is highlighted. Select your default ROM directory. Mine is in my micro SD card. Select Steam Deck as your device. Make Dolphin the only icon highlighted. And again, make sure Dolphin's the only icon highlighted. Choose your aspect ratio for GameCube. My go-to is four by three because 16 by nine causes some glitches in games. Click continue. I pick Epic Noir for emulation stations theme and I do not install homebrew games. In the We Will Install area, you want Dolphin and Steam ROM Manager parsers checked. In the We Will Configure area, you want Dolphin checked. In the Customization area, you may have bezels checked from your previous installation. When it's finished, close this window or exit. Let's head over to the PC to get some games. Grab a thumb drive, the bigger the better. Select it. Right click and format to NTFS. This will delete everything on your thumb drive, so please make sure to back up anything prior to formatting. First, we have to check compatibility. What you're checking for is if the game supports either the Wii Classic controller or the GameCube controller. Games that don't support either of these controllers won't be that fun playing on the deck. Head over to this page, see description for the link, to see if the game you want is supported by either controller. When downloading Wii games, you'll find two different file formats, WBSF and NKIT.ISO. The difference between the two formats is nkit.iso has higher compression, which takes less space, but can cause random crashing. I suggest always using the WBSF format. Copy your Wii games and paste them into your thumb drive. Plug the thumb drive into your dock. If you do not have a dock, use a USB-A to a USB-C converter. See description for details. Navigate to the thumb drive you put in. Select everything you would like to transfer. Then right click and hit copy. Navigate through default Wii ROM directory. Mine's under primary, emulation, ROMs, and Wii. And right click and paste. Depending on how many games you're transferring, this may take some time. Let's make the games viewable in gaming mode. Close this window. Double click on ME deck. After it's checked for updates, click Tools and Stuff, and then Steam ROM Manager, hit Yes. When it opens, maximize it. On the left side are your parsers. Scroll down and check to make sure the Nintendo Wii Dolphin parser is ticked. Then scroll up, hit Save, and then click Preview, and then click Generate App List. Let's see if the game art made it thanks to the parser. Go into Filter by Category and scroll down to Wii and select it. Looks like it parsed it properly. We have all the art. Click Save App List. After the notification in the bottom right is gone, we're finished. Let's select the game. Hit the Steam button, Library, go to Collections, and scroll down to Wii and select one. There are a few hotkeys to remember while using the Dolphin emulator. First, we'll go over Remote Profiles. Use the view button plus left or right on the left thumbstick to cycle through the type of controller to use in game. Make sure to set this to the Wii Classic controller or the game will not function correctly on the deck. Next is the resolution change. Use the menu button plus up or down on the D-pad. I recommend setting the internal resolution to auto. You'll get the best look with the least stress on the deck. Changing aspect ratio. Use the menu button plus left or right on the D-pad to rotate through 16x9, 4x3, or stretch ratios. I prefer stretched. When pressing menu and view at the same time, this will exit the Dolphin emulator. If you'd like to use my settings as default, go to Feature Discovered, Installed, Dolphin Emulator, and launch it. 
click controllers, configure. In the profile dropdown area, select the fourth option, it's Wii Classic Controller, and hit load, then close the window. In the graphics menu, under aspect ratio, select stretch to window and tick VSync. Head to the enhancements tab. Under internal resolution drop down, click auto. Please check the description for a hotkey picture if you need a quick reference. Thanks for making it this far. Remember to like and subscribe. Thanks for hanging, and I'll see you in the next video.